The advantages of ammonia compared to hydrogen are its lower cost per unit of stored energy, John Deere tractor, claiming it as the world's inaugural ammonia-powered zero-emissions tractor. This accessibility further underscores the viability of ammonia engines as a sustainable energy solution. In the rapidly evolving world of automobiles, it isn't often that a single announcement has the potential to reshape the entire landscape. Yet when Wang Chuanfu, the CEO of the Chinese automotive giant BYD, stepped onto the stage to unveil a groundbreaking ammonia engine, that's precisely the sensation many industry watchers felt. Could this be the technology that dethrones the electric vehicle supremacy? To understand the gravitas of this moment, it's essential to take a step back and appreciate the trajectory of the automobile industry over the past decade. Not long ago, the idea of electric vehicles replacing conventional gasoline-powered cars seemed like a distant dream. Companies like Tesla, with its Model S and Model 3, Nissan with its Leaf, and Chevrolet with the Bolt have been at the forefront, pushing the boundaries of what EVs can achieve in terms of performance, range, and affordability. These vehicles, heralded as the flag bearers of a new era, paved the way for a cleaner, greener transportation future. However, despite the advancements and popularity of EVs, they are not without their limitations. Concerns about battery degradation, raw material sourcing for lithium-ion cells, and the extended charging times compared to the quick refuel of an internal combustion engine vehicle have often cropped up in conversations. While there have been incredible strides in battery technology and infrastructure, these issues remain pertinent. This is where Wang Chuan Fu's announcement takes center stage. Ammonia as a fuel is not a novel concept. Historically, the idea of harnessing ammonia, a compound of nitrogen and hydrogen, for combustion has been toyed with, but it never took off due to several constraints. What BYD claims to have achieved is a highly efficient, scalable, and most importantly, clean-burning ammonia engine that addresses the aforementioned limitations of electric vehicles. For the uninitiated, ammonia, when burned, releases nitrogen and water, making it an incredibly clean fuel. There are no carbon emissions at the point of combustion, which is a significant advantage over traditional gasoline engines. Furthermore, ammonia is relatively easy to produce, especially using renewable energy sources, which can facilitate its green manufacturing. One might wonder about other car manufacturers and where they stand in this potentially industry-shifting moment. The likes of Toyota, Ford, and General Motors, who've invested heavily in both hybrid and pure EV technologies, will be carefully studying BYD's breakthrough. Toyota's long-standing commitment to hydrogen fuel cell technology, as seen with their Mirai model, resonates with the concept of utilizing alternative fuels. Could ammonia be the bridge that unites various alternative fuel strategies? Interestingly, the European automotive giants like Volkswagen, Mercedes-Benz, and BMW, who've been making aggressive EV push in recent years, might also reconsider their strategies. The European market, which has been a strong advocate for green technologies, could provide fertile ground for ammonia-powered vehicles if they prove efficient and scalable. Beyond the major automobile manufacturers, this revelation will also send ripples through the battery manufacturing industry. Giants like LG Chem, Panasonic, and Catiel have been ramping up production capacities in anticipation of a world dominated by EVs. If ammonia engines can prove their metal in real-world conditions, these companies might find themselves diversifying or even pivoting to stay relevant. While the news from Wang Chuan Fu and BYD is undoubtedly exciting, it's crucial to temper expectations with realism. Transitioning from one dominant form of propulsion to another is never straightforward. EVs took decades of research, development, and real-world testing before they began to gain significant market traction. Similarly, while BYD's ammonia engine sounds promising on paper, it will require extensive testing, infrastructure development, and consumer acceptance before it can truly challenge the dominance of EVs. Another aspect to consider is consumer perception. Over the past decade, there has been a significant push toward electrification, with many consumers now associating EVs with environmental consciousness. The challenge for BYD and any other automaker venturing into the ammonia engine space will be to change this deeply entrenched perception and educate the masses on the benefits of ammonia combustion. 
Wang Chuan Fu's unveiling of the ammonia engine might have taken the spotlight for now, but it's essential to put things into perspective. Electric vehicles have already carved out a considerable niche in the automotive world. Major cities have set future bans on combustion engine vehicles and invested in EV infrastructure, from charging stations to incentives for green vehicle purchases. These investments in infrastructure and the shift in public consciousness towards a more sustainable future cannot be ignored. Moreover, the prowess of electric vehicles extends beyond just their environmental credentials. The immediate torque delivery, reduced noise, and the simplification in mechanical components offer a unique driving experience that has been celebrated by many. Tesla's success is not solely predicated on its green image. The sheer performance and technological advances found in models like the Roadster and the Model S Plaid version have genuinely set new standards in the automotive industry. Another aspect to mull over is the cross-industry collaborations we're seeing, which solidify the EV's place even more. Apple, the tech behemoth, is rumored to be in the process of developing its own electric car. Google's parent company, Alphabet, has its subsidiary Waymo, focused on autonomous electric vehicles. When titans of the tech world show such interest and investment in a particular direction, it's a clear indicator of where they see the future heading. However, all this doesn't mean BYD's ammonia revelation should be taken lightly. The inherent challenges faced by electric vehicles, from the carbon footprint of battery production to the range anxiety faced by users, do indicate a gap in the market. If BYD's ammonia engines can address these challenges while offering comparable performance and cost-effectiveness, they may very well find a significant place in the automotive landscape. The best possible outcome for consumers and the environment would be a harmonious coexistence. Different technologies catering to various needs could lead to a diversified and more resilient transportation system. For instance, while city dwellers might prefer electric vehicles due to their quieter operation and fewer emissions, those in remote areas or regions lacking in EV infrastructure might lean towards ammonia-powered vehicles or other alternative fuels. This kind of diversity in propulsion technologies would also be a boon for the global economy. Different regions have varied natural resources, while countries in the Lithium Triangle like Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina stand to benefit immensely from an EV-dominant future due to their vast lithium reserves. Others with abundant resources to produce ammonia might find economic growth opportunities in a world that embraces BYD's technology. In the world of automobiles, brand loyalty and heritage play a significant role. Brands like Ferrari, Lamborghini and Porsche have legions of devoted fans who cherish the distinct roar of a combustion engine. Could an ammonia engine provide the middle ground? Retaining the essence of a combustion engine while doing away with the associated emissions. Only time will tell. One key stakeholder in this unfolding drama is the consumer. For any technological advancement to take root, it has to resonate with the people who use it daily. While the excitement around BYD's ammonia engine is palpable within industry corridors, translating this to consumer enthusiasm is a whole other challenge. A case in point is the initial skepticism faced by electric vehicles. Early adopters of EVs faced range anxiety, a dearth of charging infrastructure, and even outright hostility from traditional car enthusiasts. However, with persistent marketing, governmental support, and demonstrable advantages, electric vehicles began to gain acceptance. BYD and any other manufacturer that ventures down the ammonia-powered road will need a strategic approach to gain consumer trust. Safety concerns, especially given ammonia's reputation as a pungent and hazardous chemical, will be paramount. Wang Chuan Fu and his team will have to ensure that rigorous safety tests are not only conducted but also communicated transparently to the public. Furthermore, there's the aspect of driving pleasure. For many, the act of driving is not just about getting from point A to B. It's about the thrill of acceleration, the sound of the engine, the tactile feedback from the car. Electric vehicles, with their silent operation and instant torque, have managed to create a new paradigm of driving pleasure. How an ammonia engine will fit into or redefine this paradigm is a tantalizing question. In conclusion, BYD's announcement of its ammonia engine is a testament to the constant evolution and dynamism of the automobile industry. 
While EVs have made a significant mark and will continue to play a crucial role in our transportation future, the potential of alternative fuels like ammonia should not be underestimated. Whether or not ammonia-powered vehicles will end the reign of EVs remains to be seen. However, one thing is clear. The journey of automotive innovation is far from over, and we're all here for the thrilling ride ahead. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on. See ya!